Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, December the 31st. And today we're going to look at connecting uh, AIS to the open plotter. So I'm just out of my balcony here and you can see I've got my uh, VHF antenna there which we'll use for the AIS. And that's my GPS patch antenna which I'm going to use with my GPS. So let's go inside. This is the GPS unit, the Trimble. A 12 channel GPS receiver. It works at 4800 uh, BPS 819 and that's what I used last time when we set up the GPS for the open plotter. And here, here I have the um, Pi Top and inside the Pi Top I've got the Raspberry Pi running. So right now I'm showing open CPN and there's the red boat. Um, the RTL SDR is the receiver we're going to use to receive the AIS signal. So there's the first version of the RTL SDR. This came out about seven years ago. It's a plastic case with a CMX connector and it comes with a small whip antenna. And this is the, uh, let's say the second generation. It's got a metal case with an SMA connector and I've got a PL259 or UHF connector on the end of my VHF antenna. So I've got an adapter from a UHF to um, SMA which goes on this particular receiver. So those are the uh, two devices that we're going to use uh, today and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my uh, laptop as I discussed in the last post we can uh, operate the Raspberry Pi remotely using the VNC server and uh, connect it to the laptop so I can uh, record everything with Camtasia. So let's go over there Okay, we're on the uh, Windows 10 laptop now, and I'm looking at VNC Viewer, so I'm looking at the Raspberry Pi remotely on my laptop. So what we want to do now is we want to install uh, the AIS capability. So to do that, go to the Raspberry symbol, and go to, I think it's Settings, Open Plotter, and go to Settings. Okay, so just maximize that and we'll refresh here. Okay, now to install the AIS, what you need is you need the SDR VHF. So what that uh, option does, it installs all the software that you need for the RTL SDR uh, receiver. So just previously we looked at two versions there, the first version, the plastic version, the second version, the metal version. So either one of those would do. So um, what this option down here will install all the software to operate that and you can do many things with it uh, aside from AIS. So right now I've got it installed but what you would do if it wasn't installed when you first get Open Plotter, just highlight that and then go over here and press the install. Now there's a fair amount of software that gets loaded so it takes a couple of minutes um, uh, to load everything and there's quite a few things there including uh, in this version there's uh, I think it's calibrate it's a special program to do the calibration of the SDR uh, dongle unfortunately the earlier versions had um, a bit of a frequency error which you can compensate for by figuring out what the parts per million deviation is uh, the second version there the metal version I find it's pretty accurate it's uh, there's no uh, no error on that one okay so once that's installed then close that and then when you go uh, to Raspberry and you open plotter now this menu item should appear SDR VHF so that says the SDR VHF software for the RTL has been installed click on that that'll open up now we're just considering we're just going looking at AIS now so uh, let's highlight that and let's go to calibrate so this is where you calibrate the device now uh, to do the calibration I know ahead of time that I've got zero parts per million in mine but I'll just show you how you do it uh, what you do is uh, you use the cell phone bands to find a stable frequency to figure out how far you deviate from that so uh, in Toronto for instance GSM 850 is fairly busy and I can show you that I've got the other SDR dongle connected here and I'm just looking at the 850 megahertz band and you can see that uh, those are GSM signals they are very active and if I go over here I've got the LTE OFDM signal so there should be a lot of activity in the 850 band in Toronto 
um, to to lock on to so let's let's do that so let's say now we've GSM 850 so when you say uh, get channel what that's going to do is it's going to scan the whole band and figure out the channel with the most power so let's click on that whoops let's put in some gain here you've got to put in some gain so let's say uh, we've got the VHF antenna outside so I don't need a lot of gain let's say 30 okay so that'll go into a routine now over here it'll scan through all the base stations though so that'll take uh, a few minutes to do okay so now we're finished it scanned all the channels and it found the channel 239 uh, was the strongest channel so we're going to use that so I'm going to close that off here so now what we're going to do is we're going to put channel 239 and then it'll compare the the RTL SDR against um, that particular channel so you just say click get PPM it'll go through a routine and you can see that it's pretty well close to 0 ppm which is what I thought it would be because um, I measured it previously uh, using um, I measured on Windows using SDR sharp uh, a couple of months ago so there we go so there's my um, uh, there's my ppm so you can give your um, RTL a name. I'm calling it my SDR1. I'm just following the procedure actually in the open plotter manual. So I'm giving it a name. I'm putting in the um, parts per million there. So we can close that. So we've determined that. Now, once you've done that, go into processes. And what you have to do is um, I've already got this running, but when you um, do this for the first time, this will be grayed out. And what you have to do here is highlight this because you want the AIS not the ADSB right now so highlight this put a click in here on auto start and press start so when this goes green uh, that indicates that it's running okay and then we can go to open CPN and we can see what we're getting here now my GPS is working uh, I've got my red boat there. There's my GPS signal strength. I don't see any icons from AIS. So what we can do is we can go into Signal K server. Remember what we're doing is we're connecting the um, GPS and the AIS to the Signal K server. And um, that's being used to um, uh, take the data to the OpenCPN. So if I go into OpenCPN, uh, under connections remember we set up um, signal K server last time as a way to get data to the uh, open CPN you could also if you wanted to connect your GPS separately on a serial connection you could do that but we we set it up on signal K last time okay so signal K will take both the AIS and the GPS uh, to the open CPN now right now I don't see any icons for AIS and if you go to uh, signal server here you can see there's no activity now why is that well let's take a look here's a, a, a site called marine traffic and for Toronto it shows um, a couple of icon there's iron guppy over here near Center Island and there's Omni Coastal those two particular um, ships I picked up this summer in May when I did a, an AIS test with Windows using the RTL. This was in May. I was down at Harborfront, but I was actually down at Harborfront. Now, the reason we're not seeing it here, if we go to uh, this particular, this is a blog post from May. This is the signal strength profile that you get from a, an AIS transmitter sitting down at York Key. Here I am located here, and you would think that the blue, uh, the blue here. Uh, is around minus 90 dBm so I should get a signal here but the problem is this is this profile is based on land elevation it doesn't take into account all the buildings so there's a heck of a lot of tall buildings between me and the harbor blocking any possible signal coming from the harbor to me so it's unlikely I'm gonna see any AIS signals here so to actually see them on open CPM I'm gonna have to go down to harbor front which I'll do probably tomorrow or the day after so we can complete this post um, this is what I saw this summer this is my blog post from May but I was actually down at Harbor Front and I used Windows 
and I, I connected the RTL SDR um, with AIS Deco 2 uh, to decode the AIS. So there's the Omni Coastal. I picked that up this summer. And what else did I get? Uh, there were a bunch of signals down here. So I got three or four signals down here this summer. But like I say, we're too far away. Uh, with with the buildings in between here, they block the VHF. It's kind of like a light signal. It's physically blocked from getting to me, so we're not seeing anything here. Although we do pick up the uh, GPS, of course. So let's go back to... Um, yeah, so I'm getting lots of GPS signal, but again, over here, if there was any data in there... Now, I've seen the odd burst of data that makes it through, but not enough to uh, illuminate the map. Um, so, like I say, tomorrow we'll go down. We'll take the laptop, the uh, uh, Pi Top with the um, Raspberry Pi. We'll take it down at Harbor Front and see what we can get. Good morning. It's Jeremy. It's New Year's Day. Happy New Year, January the 1st, 2021. Looking forward to a great year. I'm just down at Toronto Harbor Front. Yesterday I was working with Open Potter trying to get the AIS going. And as I mentioned, I'm located up in North Toronto. So with the um, tall buildings in the way of the harbor in my location, I wasn't able to receive anything. So I'm just looking out into the harbor here. And uh, there's a ship right over here. It's a tug and I think it's got its AIS working. And there's a few other things cooking away. So here's the setup here. I've got my Raspberry Pi in the Pi Top here. And there's my Trimble GPS, and there's the patch antenna. I've just got a simple uh, wood antenna connected to the um, RTL SDR here, because I don't really need a big antenna. Normally the VHF antenna is about a meter long. This is about, let's say, half a meter, so that'll be fine. And what we're looking at here is, I'll just bring you into the screen here. Uh, there's the red boat is my location. Okay, and just above it is, uh, I think that's the tug. Let's see, it's the CA31600652. So that's one AIS target. Here's another AIS target. And there's another one down there. So it looks like it's working quite well. Um, I can see that as well. If I go to the Signal K server, um, you can see um, there's lots of traffic coming in here on the uh, Trimble GPS and there's also traffic coming in on the SDR, SDR AIS, so you can show that there. Let's go back to open P CPN. So there we go. So everything's working and uh, so that's good to know. So. So far then we've looked at Open Plotter, we've looked at how to install it, we looked at the connection of the GPS, and now we've looked at the connection of the AIS. And in future videos we'll look at uh, some more things. It looks like there's ADSB and uh, a complete receiver, uh, similar to SDR Sharp for the RTL and various other things. Thanks.